<laughs> okay, people, we're on. If I get this right, a 2015 CBR 600 double R. It's got a quick shifter, gear indicator down there. And remember, if you want your bike on the channel, then hit me a DM on Instagram. Anyway, let's get into the test route, shall we? We always do the same route for these. And first initial thoughts about this is it feels familiar. CBRs, they just feel the same. They all have similar ergonomics and it's so nice to just switch from bike to bike and have that familiar feeling across the range. Mate, this thing is smooth through that power band. It feels weird to be able to full throttle something and it not give me issues like my bike. It's got a quick shift up, but not down. But mate, that is smooth, mate. And the clutch is so smooth. It's, it's cable throttle, I can feel it. That feels mint. You can't beat a cable throttle. Get rid of those electric throttles. I was just surprised, that I was just saying to them up there, I'm surprised at how much they kept in it like, oh, those are good brakes. I'm surprised how much they kept in it, um, like not dated, but almost dated, like the old school mirrors. Like these mirrors are so old school. This is from like the first CBRs they used to have these. Why is it saying second? Why in second? It's saying fourth now. Nah, we're not in second. What? Yeah, no, nah, we weren't. That gear shifter's lying. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll show you it later. I'm not going to do it now. I'll show you later. But they've got old school parts on them still, which is interesting. They kept it. But the front of it looks like the Triple RSP. I love it. And this white is so fresh, mate. Oh, I love this thing. This is going to be fun. So we'll test the handling out first. We'll go up the handling section. We'll head to the slower speed stuff, the more open stuff, and then we'll pull over, check it out, and then we'll head back. I just, I, why did I use the clutch? It's got a quick shifter, what am I doing? Anyway, let's bank it over. Obviously, I'm not going to go mental because this isn't my bike. And that would be very rude. But, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is planted, mate. That is planted and ready to go. That's set up, mate. With those clip-ons underneath, unlike mine. Just gives you such a more grounded position. Yeah, mate. That's some really nice. You can feel the rear, you can feel the front. That's just ready to go. Revs to 15,000, 17,000 RPMs, mate. Just kind of mad. We'll give it some juice around this corner, see what the sort of pull's like on the old double R. Yeah, that quick shifter pulls, mate. I don't know what the horsepower of this, I'll put it on the screen. But that quick shifter just turns the whole bike into another level. And that pulls really well. That pulls really, really well. Jesus. The difference from mine to this is just insane. Gee, yeah, that's a nice old pull on that. You can feel that. Yeah, this is planted, mate. Test out the slow speed chilling sort of vibes. It is obviously a bit more aggressive, so my head is having to tilt up a little bit. Uh, not that I feel too big for it, but it does feel shorter wheelbase actually. Like my knees are a bit more higher up. It does feel like the bars are closer to my waistline than they are on mine, but obviously mine's a sports tour. I need to stop comparing it to mine, but definitely does feel shorter and lower. But slow speed, it's comfy enough. Like, do you know what I mean? We're chilling, we're in third gear. We're bumbling along, it's fine. And then obviously when you want to pick up it, it's right there for you. Oh, that quick shifter! It's just glorious! Oh, just changes the game. I do think everyone should learn like without a quick shifter first. Just so they get understand the clutch and all that sort of stuff and clutchless shifting. But when you get a quick shifter, it's just a it just changes the game. It honestly changes the whole game of riding. So efficient. Feel it rumbling underneath you as well. It's not the loudest thing in the world. But it's enough to listen to. A little dirt bike on that, a trials bike on the back of this. Give him a little bit of room. I just want to sweep it through these. Ah, we can do this corner on the way back, to be fair. I just like doing these long sweepers. Feel that transfer over. It's so easy to counter steer. 
like if I want to if I want to like throw the weight into one of the bars and push it the other way it just tips over really nicely it is really really easy to ride that's what Hondas are they are easy to ride that front brake is ready to go as well that's some sharp old brakes at the front I like that I need to get mine rebled sort of bank it around this sort of medium speed slower corner here see what it does planted mate that is planted right let's have a look at this thing let's get you just treat your eyes to this beautiful all white cbr yeah that new that gear indicator <laughs> doesn't know what it's doing it keeps flicking around a second i'm not in second all right let's have a look where's the kickstand i don't trust people's kickstands all right let's turn it off oh make sure you've not got a fly on you you're all good. Let's have a little look at this thing. Look at that. Do you know what I mean? The white colour scheme with the classic red and white, uh, red and blue. It's just mint, mate. It really stands out. And the front end is what I like the most. Because if you notice, after 2007, they moved from this long, sleek design of the Hondas to this like short, stubby front end with like the high tank and the weird pushed up nose. I don't like it. This has gone back to that nice, long Honda body with like the tank and it looks like the triple rsp at the front big old calipers i'm guessing yeah look at them damn crazy but this is what i'm on about old school look they kept the old mirrors and the old indicators that's such a strange choice like why did they put these big old fat things on it from like the 99 fire blades they should have put some more aggressive ones on there but still you can see plenty out of them but yeah the rear sets they are definitely higher because my leg was cramping up even on that send. It definitely feels like a, like a lot more compact than my bike. It's a lot shorter and a lot more, you're a lot more nestled into it. Um, but obviously that you'd get used to that while riding it and that rear tail exhaust. I love the rear tail exhaust. That's probably why I can't hear it as much actually because it's behind you, innit? So you might lack a bit of noise when you get a rear tail. But yeah, and then obviously over here, the glorious quick shifter, which works an absolute dream. It's got the little bungs on it for the side stand and the... Little carbon pieces on here. Nice little grips. It's got these on them. It's a nice dash as well. You've got digital and clock. I do like that instead of a full digital. I don't know if it's got a stabiliser. Has it got a stabiliser? Because that front end felt like planted. Felt really planted on the front. Mine almost feels like it's a little bit higher at the front. And it like, you not you feel the shakes, but it is just a little bit higher. Whereas this is so much more aggressive and lent over. Yeah, really nice bike. This was quite nice because this is quite small here and narrow. See, my seat goes all the way down here. So it's very narrow here. When you send it, you can put your bum against this little back pad. It's actually really, really nice. Ugh. All right, swing a leg over. And yeah, look, I can flat foot it. That's how you know it's shorter because look, I'm flat foot with a bent leg as well. So it's a, a lot shorter than mine. And obviously you can tell that in the positioning. A little mini screen. I didn't feel much wind, but that's actually a hard screen to get behind. You've got to get your ass to the back. <laughs> it's actually quite tight, isn't it? Done 7,811 miles <laughs> compared to my 39,000 miles on my Honda. <laughs> but look, it says second gear. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that that's off. Oh, now it's staying in second, and now it's gone to third, so it just doesn't register first, it just stays second for two gears. That's funny. Yeah, I'd have to get used to it, but it almost feels like too small for me. I know that sounds stupid, but I'm not the tallest person in the world. But it does feel quite small. Oh yeah, we didn't do a brake test. I already know they're crazy, but let's do a brake test. Yeah, wow. Like, barely even touched it. Like, that is just... Barely even touched it, and that pulls you to a stop. Crazy, yeah. Very nice brakes. Fifth to sixth is interesting. It's a shorter rev drop. Like you're in fifth and then you drop and it doesn't actually drop that many revs. It still stays high in the rev range and then gives you it. Whereas on mine, you go fifth to sixth and it drops right down. You've got a long old travel back to the top red line. Oh, we can sort of sweep it into these now, actually. Nice little left, right. Yeah, no, it's set up when you... I don't feel too small for it when I'm sending it like that. But when I'm generally riding it, I do feel a bit small. A bit tall for it. Um, have you got a fly on you? No. But when you are actually in the corners, it's obviously set up and it's a lot more of a better positioning for that type of riding.
Woo! Yo, this thing's sick. I love it. Absolutely love it. Big up. Uh, yeah, I'll put the gears on the screen and you'll be able to hear this lovely audio. Let's uh, see what she can do. interesting pull I had never felt a pull like that that was so smooth and that didn't dip into a power band that just was a power band the whole entire time that was sick that was really really cool that just floated through that power band yeah that was mint really mint big up to this guy man I'll, I'll ask him if whatever he wants me to put on the screen and I'll put it on there but big shout out to this guy man that was amazing <laughs> 